Welcome back to today's video. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on one of the colligative properties and it is called depression of freezing point. Now, depression of freezing point is also called cryoscopy. Depression of freezing point is also called cryoscopy. And it is given by an equation which is delta T is equal to KFM. Now the question asks yourself, what is KF? It is called cryoscopic constant. It is called cryoscopic constant. Or you call it the freezing point depression constant. Now what is N? N is called molality. And it is measured in moles per kg of solvent. Or you say molal. Okay? Or you say molal. Not molar. Okay? This is for molarity. Okay? This is for molarity, which is molar. But molal is for molality. Now, what is delta T? Delta T is simply freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution. Now, it must be noted that the freezing point of solvent is always higher than the freezing point of solution. Now, let's quickly... Now... Molality, which is M, is given by an equation which is mass of solute times 1000 over molar mass of solute times mass of solvent. This is the formula for molality. So let's impute, like let's impute this formula into this equation. So delta T becomes Kf times molality, which is this. So Kf times mass of solute times 1000 all over molar mass of solute. times mass of solvent. You know, a solution is made up of a solute and a solvent. So, solvent dissolves solute. Now, with these equations, let's quickly attempt this first question. The question says, at what temperature will a 0.25 molal small m molal small m molar big letter m okay for molar it is big letter m so basically at what temperature will a 0.25 molar solution of sugar in water freeze and they've given us the care of, of water which is the solvent so basically the molality is already given this is the molality so it means that this formula will not be needed in this question we just use the first formula. So delta T will now be equal to Kf of water, 1.86, okay? Or let's write the equation. Kf times molality. So delta T will now be equal to Kf of water, which is 1.86 times molality, which is 0 0.250. So delta T will be equal to 0 0.465 degree Celsius. But this is not the answer to the question. The question says, at what temperature will a 0.25 molar solution? So they are asking us to get the freezing point of the solution. So we quickly bring out this equation that there's a T will not be equal to freezing point of the solvent. Now, what is the freezing point of the solvent? In this context, the solvent is water. What is the freezing point of water? 
zero degrees Celsius. So let's make the freezing point of solution subject of honor since we are asked to determine the freezing point of solution. So freezing point of solution because it was negative but moving, uh, passing the equality side becomes positive will not be equal to the freezing point of solvent. The solvent is water. And what is the freezing point of water? Zero degree Celsius. So this moving head becomes negative. Okay. So freezing point of solution will not be equal to what is the freezing point of solvent? Water minus 0 0.465 degrees Celsius. So what they're asking us is the freezing point of solution. So it becomes negative 0 0.465. So, when you are solving, you must be very careful because both answers can be in the option. So, you should be very careful because here, the right answer is negative 0 0.465 degree Celsius. So, you can see how questions on depression of freezing points are being solved. Remember, it is also called cryoscopy. Now, let's quickly move over to another question to enable us to understand this concept better. Now, let's quickly move over to the second question. The question says, a solution made by dissolving 5.65 grams of an unknown compound in 110 grams of benzene froze at 4.39 degrees Celsius. What is the formula weight of the solute? Formula weight is saying, like, what is the molecular mass, or you say, what is the molar mass of the solute? So you can see this formula has molar mass of solute. So we simply bring it out. So we have delta T will not be equal to Kf times mass of solute times 1000 all over the molar mass of solute times mass of solvent so first thing first we need to deduce which is the solvent which is the solvent benzene is the solvent so this is the solvent whereby this unknown compound will be the solute so what are they asking us to get the molar mass of the unknown compound so we make molar mass subject molar mass subject of solute, so it becomes Kf times mass of solute times 1000 all over delta T times mass of solvent. Remember, benzene is the solvent. So let's determine the delta T. Delta T is not given the question. I recall delta T say the freezing point of solvent minus the freezing point of the solution. This is the freezing point of the solution, the FP of solution. What is the freezing point of the solvent? This is the freezing point of the solvent, which is benzene, which is 5.45 degrees Celsius. So basically to determine the delta T, we simply say freezing point of solvent, which is 5.45 degrees Celsius minus freezing point of solution, which is 4.39 degrees Celsius. Recall I said the freezing point of solvent is higher than the freezing point of solution. So when you are dealing with depression of freezing point, so it becomes 1.06 degrees Celsius. Okay, as the uh, the temperature for the degree Celsius here. So what will be the molar mass of the solute? So molar mass of solutes will not be equal to the Kf of the solvent, which is 5.07 times the mass of solute, which is 5.65 times 1,000 all over, what is the delta T? 1.06 times mass of solvent. This is the solvent. Benzene, which is 110. So when we hit the calculator, we get the molar mass to be 245.7 grams per mole. So you can see how questions on depression of freezing points are being tackled. Do well to subscribe to this channel and also share these videos with your friends. It will really help you because chemistry is made easy. Thanks for watching.